Okay, so in this video I will show you how to use all these different softwares that are for uh, poly study or Tipitaka reading. Uh, this video is a follow-up on an earlier video that I made uh, for where I explained how to install all, th all these on your computer. So I made separa separate videos for how to install it on Mac computers and how to install it on Windows. Now whether you are using a Mac or, or a Windows, um, this video will be uh, covering both devices. So one by one I'll be explaining how to use these. So if you haven't installed them yet, all, all of these, then first you might want to watch that video. Uh, there will be a link in the, script in the description below. So let's start with the websites here. The Sutta Central Legacy website. Or actually, let's start with this one, the Sutta Central um, Progressive Web App. So if you have a Mac computer, then you can unfortunately not use it offline. But uh, since here I'm using a Windows, uh, we can make use of the offline function. So one more time, the just as a brief explanation, at this moment uh, you can only use the suttas offline and only one language at a time. So for me, I downloaded the English uh, translation files so I can use any kind of suttas with the in English translations offline. So you see now I'm offline here. So in order to set it up uh, properly, we can go to any sutta. And then what you have to understand is that there are many different translations. So here you can see uh, two English translations, one by Vante Sujato, one by Bhikkhu Bodhi, but only the one with Bhikkhu Sujato, which is translated by the Venerable Sujato, only these have the special functions that I'm going to show you now. Um, there are also many other translations in all kinds of languages, but they are not available offline. So for them you would have to go online. Then here, addition of the root text, that is for the Pali, if you just want to read the Pali. And then the parallels, I will go, uh, get to this later. So let's open uh, Ajahn Sujato's translation. Now I had already activated the other functions. So normally if you open it, it will look like this. You can hide the menu bar by clicking on the menu. So this looks a bit nicer. So now you see this just English. And if you go here to the text settings, then you have some other options here. You can have a side-by-side -side view, line-by-line, -line, and pop-up view. Before we continue, let's activate the Pali word lookup. So here, normally, none is selected. You will want to select Pali to English. You can also activate the Chinese English. And then you can choose the, s the script for the Pali text. So uh, let's choose, first of all, let's choose the side-by-side -side view. So now you can see, because I have activated the Pali lookup, wherever I go with the my mouse, a translation will pop up. Even compound words uh, many times work, uh, so they get um, they get separated in the into the compounds. Then, as I said, you can also change the font. So here, please understand, Latin means uh, Latin font or Roman font. Uh, there is, I just want to say that there had, has been some confusion, um, especially among the Myanmar students uh, here at the university. Um, usually people say this is English Pali, but it's not English. The English, do not, the, uh, English people do not own this. Um, this alphabet, this alphabet was initially invented by the Romans, so that's why we call this the Latin alphabet and Latin Pali. So if I say uh, Roman Pali, I mean Pali in Roman script. If I say English, I, s I mean English, langu English language. Okay, so for example, you can use the Myma font for the Pali, and then you have something like this. Sometimes it takes a moment to load. Now it shows everything. And the dictionary also works, uh, even if you look at it in Pali, uh, in Myanmar. 
the next function here is line by line. So each uh, sentence is or a paragraph is connected with its translation di directly. So this is also a nice way to read uh, and compare the English to the Pali. And then another function which I like very much is the pop-up function. So if you're just reading a text in English and then you might wonder, oh, what, what's this, uh, like what's the root word here? What was the Pali from which this translation comes? So then you can just go with your mouse on the paragraph and the Pali, the original Pali of that sentence will directly come up. So this is also a very nice tool. And another uh, function of this website is the parallels function. So after you checked out these uh, text settings, you can go here, view parallels and references. So here you have the other translations. If you're online, you can use them. You can uh, see other translations. And you can have the Pali here. And then here are the parallels. So. Now DN1 stands for Diganikaya 1, which is the Brahmajala Sutta that we are uh, reading right now, Brahmajala Sutta. And here you can see which other kind of suttas as well as sutras. So um, this website uh, also includes other texts. So one of the aims of this website actually was to create resources for comparative study. So if you open any of the Pitakas, then you ha here you have the different Nikayas, so long, middle, linked, etc., Diga, Majima, and so on. And then here you can see Diga Nikaya, that's for the Pali, PS stands for Pali, and then LZH stands for uh, Chinese. So here you have uh, Chinese Agamas from the Chinese Tripitaka. And in the same way, there are other Agamas and other texts from, in from other languages. So if you go here, then you can read Chinese text. And here in the parallels, you can see uh, where this text, the Diga Nikaya one, so the Brahmachala Sutta, has references or similarities with other kind of suttas, uh, whether Pali suttas, for example, here, Machimya Nikaya 36, the Mahasachika Sutta has a uh, uh, similarity with the Brahmachala Sutta in some respects. Um, but also Chinese texts. So here you can see, for example, the net of Brahma, uh, Dirga Gama 21. So we will have a look at it later. Uh, I will just say that this is not only re referring to just the whole sutta, but even subsections of the suttas, even such uh, detailed things, such as uh, one paragraph of the sutta is mentioned in another sutta. So here, for example, in the Milinda Panya, um, we have a reference that corresponds with the section number 7 of uh, Diga Nikaya. Here, if you click on it, um, it, will it, was it will bring us down to that uh, section. Sorry, now I, now I messed it up. So if we just click on it, it should bring us to that section in the Pali text. You know, it doesn't do. Okay, it doesn't do right now. But uh, you can also find it by yourself in one way by adding the textual information. If you add the textual information, then you see how it's numbered. So here, uh, Sutta Central numbering is here 8, 9, 10, etc. And section number 7 here, now it has been highlighted. This is the one that was mentioned here. Diganikaya 1.7 now has been highlighted, so the central numbering 7, and this has a direct reference in the uh, Melinda Panya, in the Vanabhanana Panya. So, in the same way, other sections have other references with other suttas. So, like here, Samanapala Sutta has a reference with this section. So, now let's have a look, for example, at the Chinese um, Chinese one. So either you can open it just right here. So let's just click on it. It will open the Chinese Sutra. Now you can see Dirgagama number 21. In the Pali Pilgrim it was Diganikaya 1. Here it's Dirgagama 21. 
and this is Chinese. We have also activated the uh, Chinese dictionary lookup. Um, but you can also see uh, there are also other translations. So you can have Vietnamese or uh, English. So we can also see this sutta, this sutra in English uh, translation. So for the Chinese uh, Chinese sutras, there are not many English translations. I mean, there are some, uh, but mostly if you know Vietnamese, you'll be uh, more lucky because these uh, most of the Chinese uh, sutras are also translated into Vietnamese. So now this is an, just a, a nice tool for uh, doing comparative studies. So if you want to compare um, how did the uh, Chinese tradition preserve this uh, sutta, the Brahmajala sutta, and how is the difference, how is the similarity, it's actually it's very similar. You will see th all the different sections are uh, kind of the same. Um, and then you can compare. So if you want to compare it, you can also uh, open the Brahmajala Sutta, for example, right click on it, open in another, uh, in a new Sutta Central window. So now it opens here in another window. And we can put this by, by dragging the top uh, window bar, dragging it to the side. It will open in a half of the screen and then we can put the other one in the other half and now we have the let's choose the English translation and now we have the Chinese Sutra side by side with the Eng with the Pali Sutta both in English translation which is a very nice way to read them comparatively Okay, so, so we have shown the specialities of this website, which are especially the side-by-side -side view, line-by-line -line view, which is, um, which is mainly possible because uh, Venerable Sujito, in his translations, has linked all the paragraphs and all the sentences with the Pali, so that we can have everything linked and can have sentence-by-sentence -sentence the translation. Uh, now this brings us to the next one, the Sutta Central Legacy website. This is a old version of the Sutta Central website. So while here we have uh, side by side and like uh, sentence by sentence, the one of the limitations of this one is, as I mentioned earlier, that at the moment you can only have suttas for offline usage and only one language at a time. So this is a certain limitation. Um, I think the Vinaya will be made available uh, probably in the next year or a few years um, because Venerable Brahmali, he's uh, translating at this moment, um, retranslating the whole Vinaya Pitaka. So I, I'm confident that this will be made available. Uh, the Vinaya will also be made available maybe in the next one or two years or something. So, but as a compare compared to this limitation the old version of the website has the benefit that in all the three sections Sutta Vinya and Abhidhamma are all available for offline as well as all the translations that are included in this website I say those that are included in this website because as I said this is an old version of the lab of the website and it doesn't include all of the translations that we find here. So sometimes, I will sh uh, show later, sometimes there it doesn't have the English translation for offline. It gives you a link, but it doesn't have it offline. So in that case, it is a certain limitation, but the benefit is that we have um, all kinds of languages and all kinds of translations for offline usage. So if we open Sutta or Vinya, any kind of the Pitakas, then we see it's classified into the different languages. So you have the, these are related with the Pali Sutta Pitaka, and then we have the Chinese Agama, Sanskrit, even Gandhari texts. And uh, let's, for example, open this uh, Brahmachala Sutta. And it by default, it will open the uh, Pali text. So you can see the Pali text, and then here we can see there is a menu, uh, menu button, 
when you open this here you have these three uh, three tabs so navigation metadata you can see who who wrote this then uh, navigation is where you can navigate the different sections of the sutta as well as you can choose the different languages so now here you see we have many different languages uh, many resources for different languages and here in the controls you can also change for example the Pali font you can change it to Myanmar Pali font and you can also um, activate a dictionary lookup again so when this is enabled then you close the menu bar and then again you just hover the mouse over the words and a dictionary will pop up if we go to the English so now you can see the English translation um, so one of the differences is that here you had this function for a side-by-side -side view but we don't have this function in the uh, legacy website so even though we don't have it natively like um, all those uh, connected and inside the website we can use the the function of our browser so of our windows um, we can u just use that function so for example let's now we have the English opened let's right click on the Pali and open link in new window so now you can just you see by by dragging here in the in the uh, top bar you can drag this window to the side then it will open in one half of the screen and you can open the other one in the other half and now you have English and Pali side by side um, and you can also read it simultaneously in this way alright so one thing I want to say here is that especially in the Majjhima Nikaya uh, many of the suttas do not have an English translation in this old version of the website so for example remember the Latugi Kopama Sutta when I open it it does not have the English translation so in this case what you want to do is you would like to use the access to inside archive so the access to inside archive uh, it also has uh, many Sutta translations so in this case for example we have Majjhima Nikaya 66 so in access to insight we can uh, navigate by different in different ways whether by sutta name or subject or in other ways and we can also navigate by the Nikaya so let's go to the Majjhima Nikaya and let's just scroll down until 66 and we will see here Latugi Govama Sutta uh, and then we have the English translation here so that's one of the benefits of having both the access to insight and the uh, Sutta Central Archive so that whatever translations are missing here you might find them here in the uh, access to insight website okay the next thing um, I will show you is the Pali declension tool so it also just opens in your browser I already explained briefly uh, in the in the installation video I already explained briefly you can use the wealthiest system for writing uh, Pali diacritics in the given way here or you can just use your uh, Pali keyboard um, if you watch the video of the installation then you also know how to install a Pali keyboard on your uh, computer so let's just uh, try it out uh, once again any noun will give us a declension on one side of the p of the page and on the other side um, you have some dictionaries Chinese dictionaries and in the bottom there are also English dictionary translations so in the case of verbs Pasadi, it will give us the conjugation in all different tenses and in case of pronouns it can also give us declensions and all kinds of interesting uh, informations so this is a small but very handy tool then the next one let's uh, go to the Chattasangayana the Tipitaka app 
So as I mentioned already in the installations video, in order to uh, run this one, if you just run it by um, like this, it won't work. Before you want to run it, you have to open the this server. So let's uh, open it, and then once this green um, font appears, then you can start opening it, and it will work. So basically, here you have the um, the navigation for the for the Bitagas and for the Anya section, and for the Atagatas and Tikas and in order to open you just click on it and you can uh, you can just select any kind of uh, place and then you can click on the words and it will give you the translations so I will show you how to activate different kinds of translations so now I have here are the single eye translations also um, activated so here you have three different buttons. So if you go to the text, then you have your text. If you open any other text, it will open in a new tab. So when you go somewhere else, it won't go missing. It will always stay here and you can access it easily. Here with these buttons, you can go directly to the Atagata or the Tika. So this is also very handy. And then here in the settings, you have different kinds of settings. There is an option for Singular um, because this was made by a Singular uh, supporter. Uh, I mean, a Sri sorry, Sri Lankan uh, supporter. Then you can also change the font of the Pali. So now you can see the Pali font has changed. Um, you can choose any kind of font you like. And then you can explore these these different options. For example, if you prefer in, in white, you can do the light theme. Then multi-file tab, I, I suggest you use the tab view so that it will always be in different tabs here and it will remain. Um, you can also do columns to view things side by side. So now, for example, here we can have different sections side by side. Now, if you have many open, it's not very uh, very handy. But if you have just two opened, then this is something that you can work with, where you can, uh, for example, open the uh, mula in one page and then the atikata in another tab, and then you can you can just uh, see directly uh, the Pali and the Atagata side by side. Then the next one, you can change the text size and you have some other things here you can play around with. Then here you should understand uh, this kind of symbol stands for the dictionary, this kind of symbol stands for the Sutta titles, you can search for Sutta titles and this is for a full text search. So in the full text search here, you can have more kind of options. Um, if you search for something, then you can have different options here. In the full text search, you have some options that you can um, search for the exact word 
or for any kind of variations of the word. So if you want to search for big cool exact word, it will only give you results for uh, where it's it finds big cool. If you say not exact word, then it will also give you results for big cool, big cool, big cool, big cool, big cool et cetera. Another thing is you can show height filter filters so you can uh, choose where you want to search in which kind of pitika and in the other tasks etc then the dictionary you should understand in the dictionary uh, you can activate more dictionaries so now what i have here for example if we open english then there are different kinds of english dictionaries so now by default is only this one is selected you can add more dictionaries and it will give you many, many results in for the English. The same thing you can do with the other languages. So there are three different Myanmar dictionaries, for example. Um, so you have Myanmar results. Then there are uh, singular dictionaries. This is Vandesidata's uh, laptop, so um, the singular are activated. And also uh, some Thai dictionaries, Chinese, Hindi, Indonesian, uh, as Spanish, Spanish and Portuguese, and Cambodian. So this can be useful to compare uh, from different resources if you know other languages. Okay, so uh, that's all I, I have to say about this app. Um, in the installation video, I also showed, showed you how to uh, install the PolyScript converter. It's a very simple tool. Any kind of poly text you can copy and you can insert in the PolyScript converter. And you can change the font of the poly into other languages. So this is not a translation. This is just <coughs> to change the uh, script of the poly. Then the next one is the digital poly reader. So because this one is a bit more extensive, I make uh, I'll make a separate video for this one. Um, also because <coughs> many people will be just mainly interested into the in this one. So if you know any uh, other functions for the apps that I explained, um, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, if I missed something, so you can also add these to your taskbar to easily access them. Uh, if you, if I missed something, like any kind of special functions of this one, for example, please let me know in the comments, and then I can add these uh, these informations here for the benefit of many. So thank you for watching, and let me know if anything was unclear.